when you listen to the to some of the political candidates on the left and on the right. Don't you get depressed? <laughs> I mean, it, when you listen, it sounds like this country has run out of steam on innovation, that our best times are behind us, and that all we have is problems. And as Mark already said, that's not what we found. Now, let me start by saying, if you look in the rear view mirror, things, yes, things look bleak. US employment, down. Seven million people, although people don't write about the fact that there are 10 million jobs now in high-tech industries, and four million jobs were created during this exact, 4.4 million jobs in that period. And what is good is you can see that line at the end is starting to reverse. And it was not just competition from my emerging markets. <laughs> it was also automation, which means that we were doing things much more productively. And of course, it was the devastating impact of this 2008 crisis that we're coming out of. But this bad news we found is not the whole story. And this book really started when I went off to Asia and Fred, in his travels, had a similar experience. I went to Asia meeting with many, and I've been doing this for 30 years, with many uh, entrepreneurs, CEOs. And what do I hear? I hear them complain about American competition. Now, I nearly dropped off my chair. I hadn't heard that in 30 years. And why were they complaining? Yes, sure, labor costs were going up, our shale gas was cheap, but the most important thing was they couldn't keep up with American innovation. And so we, after this trip, in which we visited a dozen uh, cities all over Northern Europe and particularly the United States, uh, and there's my daughter, um, we came to a very different conclusion. The American, and by the way, Northern European economies are not on the decline. No. They are, in fact, regaining competitiveness. Why there is a new paradigm? For the last 25 years, we have been trying to compete on the basis of making things as cheap as possible. Losing battle. <laughs> Certainly against China and other emerging markets. We have learned, particularly after the 2008 crisis, that it's much better to compete on making things as smart as possible. And here we're really good. We have great universities. We have this, this a freedom of thinking that promotes thinking out of the box, that is the basis for all real innovation. We have a great legal system. And so, smart innovation is beginning to replace cheap labor as the key competitive edge.